I know this doesn't make any sense, but if she doesn't come back from this, I am going to be furious with her. That's it, I'm going under the waterfall. <laughs> Okay, this time I know that we've taken on way more than we can handle, or at least it's way more than I can handle. So we're in Banos, it's the adrenaline capital of Ecuador, and there are just way too many terrifying activities to do. Ah! Wow, it's really wet! So Stephanie says it's terrifying, but to me, this place is all about fun. This is where I finally get to do all the activities on my bucket list. We're talking zip lining, Woo! rafting, I've been waiting such a long time to try that one. And absolutely none of those activities are right for me. I mean, I do wish I was the kind of person who could just jump on a zip line and away I go, but I'm just not. I really like my adventures to take place with two feet right on the ground, like this tour of waterfalls that we're doing right now. Fortunately, there are enough activities in Banos that we can both enjoy. At least I think there are. Well, we'll find out. We're staying here for a week, so we're doing kind of a whirlwind tour and we're bringing you along for the ride. So we're gonna show you everything we get up to this week and we'll show you where we ate, where we stayed, and since it's us, obviously we're gonna share how much it all cost. But before we get into all of that, giving a big hello to all you nomads and travelers out there. If you haven't met us before, I'm Jillian, this is Stephanie. We're traveling the world full time and sharing it with all of you as we go. So we've mentioned that we're on a waterfall tour, the famous Ruta de las Cascadas, and now we're headed to one that's supposed to be a little more exciting. Already. <laughs> lining once before but it was nothing like this. This zip line is over a kilometer long. It's actually the longest in all of Ecuador and on top of it you go head first Superman style. I'm actually getting a little scared just thinking about it. Looking real good. <laughs> Safety wise the main thing is to make sure not to touch the wire. Okay. <laughs> I know this doesn't make any sense, but if she doesn't come back from this, I am going to be furious with her. While Jillian is off chasing an adrenaline high, I've got my own plans. So Banos is famous for all of its outdoor activities, but it's also famous for its volcanic thermal waters. And you know what that means, spas. There are lots and lots of spas in Banos, and today I'm going to one of the most beautiful ones in town. I'm going in for a soak and a massage and a scrub, and I am not coming out until I am totally relaxed from head to toe. 
Wow, I really see why this place is so popular. These grounds are just beautiful. I think I'm gonna just stay here all afternoon. I love it. So if you saw our last video from a couple weeks ago, you'll know that we did a really huge, challenging hike through the Ecuadorian Highlands. Well, that actually was just in real life a couple days ago. So I really, really need this spa day. All right, I'm putting the do not disturb sign up for the next few hours. And the next time you see me, I'm gonna be a completely new person. Rafting is a pretty common activity, so you might be surprised to hear that I've never actually done it before. I mean, sure, I grew up canoeing and kayaking, but I've never taken a little rubber dinghy down a raging river, so let's just see how wild things are going to get. I hope you all paid attention at summer camp and, you know, got your paddling skills up to scratch. It's been raining for a few days and so the river was just rushing. So we had to paddle super hard, we had to navigate all kinds of rocks. It was so much fun. So when it comes to dining out here in Banos, what we've been really enjoying are the almuerzos. So these are the really big set lunches that Ecuador is really famous for. You get a lot of food, a lot of courses, and it just costs a few dollars. So we're gonna take you inside our favorite little spot to have a really hearty lunch. Hola. So the meal consists of a juice, a soup, a main, and a dessert, and it's all just for a few dollars. And this particular restaurant has a different menu each day. So we're gonna see what comes today. Yes, yes. Okay, our juice has arrived. Now he told us the name of the fruit that this juice is made out of, and I couldn't recognize it in Spanish, so I certainly don't know what it is in English, but let's see what it tastes like. I have no idea what this juice is, but it's really good. Wow. Okay, gracias. gracias. Well, the dishes have started just flying out of the kitchen, and we have this beautiful soup to start things off. It's super hearty looking. There's this big meatball here. We've got potatoes, we've got vegetables, and what looks like a very savory broth. Mmm. Well, it's piping hot, and it's beautifully seasoned with all these herbs. Yeah, that looks good. Mmm. Mm, that is a delicious way to get our almuerzo started. So we've just barely finished our soup and our main has already arrived, hot and fresh out of the kitchen. So this is a dish that is very popular here in Ecuador. We've seen it on many, many menus. It's a uh, lightly breaded chicken, so pollo milanese, I believe it's called. And because this is Ecuador, there are always a lot of carbs to go with the meal. So we have the chicken and we also have some potato, but wait, there's more. We also have this giant bowl of rice. So no one is gonna leave this table feeling hungry, that's for sure. Let's check out this yummy looking chicken. Oh my goodness, this looks absolutely cooked to perfection. Oh yeah. Perfect. Really, this is like real home cooking comfort food. Okay, keeping up with the relentless pace of this meal, the dessert has arrived. Actually, it arrived sort of midway through the main, and it was really hard to focus on the main when I was like eyeballing this dessert off to the side. But it's time. Finally, we can dive in. And it is a warm tapioca pudding, so I'm pretty excited about that. Mmm. That is amazing. It's so rich and creamy and warm. I love it. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. Totally stuffed, but we might have to come back here tomorrow. <laughs> 
to be honest, we kind of struggled with where to stay in Banyos. So normally we do like to be right in the center of the city. We find that's where the best restaurants are. We like to be within walking distance of everything. But we really found that the pickings were a little bit slim. And the center of the city is also very busy. It's frantic, it's touristy. So it didn't have as much appeal for us. So what we ended up with is basically a house right on the outskirts of town. So there are really not many amenities out here. We really do have to get in a cab if we want to find a decent restaurant. But what we traded in for that was a whole lot of space and it was at a really amazing price. So we're going to go inside and I'll give you a little tour. I mean, we're so far out of town here that I'm expecting to see like chickens or cows or goats. <laughs> All right, come on in. So here we are, and I think probably the first thing that you're gonna notice is that this place has been very thoroughly decorated. I mean, I'm kind of a minimalist, so it really jumps out at me. Every single corner, wall, really, there's no surface that has been left untouched, but actually I kind of find that there's like a little bit of a charm to it. Now, if you follow me in, another thing that you're gonna notice is that there is a lot of seating in here. So if we want to have maybe a dinner party for eight, not a problem. We've got a lot of seating going on. So aside from the decorating, there are some other kind of quirky elements to this place. So over here, I actually thought at first that this was just a laundry room. But when I took a closer look, I realized that there's also a bathtub and a shower in there too. I'm not really sure what the kind of concept for the room was. I don't know how often I'm doing laundry and then I think, I should hop in the bath, but they decided it worked. Okay, let's take a look at the upstairs. Like I said, this is actually a very spacious house. It's way more space than we need because it actually has three bedrooms, counting one, two, three. So we took a look at each bedroom and we decided to go with the one that has the nicest view. So this is our room and just check out this incredible view. So we have been waking up every single morning to this amazing view of these mountainous hills and this is definitely not something you're going to find right in the center of the city. Well that was quite the week. <laughs> yeah it sure was. Mostly for you but actually I managed to fit in some fun stuff for me too. Yeah like going to the same restaurant for Almuerzo every single day. <laughs> that's right. It was really every single day. I didn't miss one. And that's actually a hot tip for you guys if you're traveling in Ecuador. If you find a great Almuerzo restaurant definitely become a regular. So fortunately there was enough here for both of us to enjoy. Stephanie got to enjoy some of the tamer experiences here. That's right. My spa day was absolute bliss. And I got to finally live out my fantasy of being an adrenaline junkie. Although, to be honest, I didn't really do anything that I would actually find scary. There was no bungee jumping or skydiving. It was all fun stuff. So just for the record, Jillian's sense of what's fun is a little skewed. I mean, when I saw her get strapped into that zip line head first, I was just holding my breath the entire time. Fortunately, there's room for us to pursue our own interests when we travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So when we're in a place like Banyos, Jillian can just go around ticking off all those things on her bucket list. And then when we're back in the big city, Stephanie will head off to the museums and the galleries. Very cultured. <laughs> okay, let's add it up and see what it costs for a whole week of adventure here in Banyos. So first up, we've got entertainment and there was actually a lot of entertainment. There was the mm -hmm. waterfall tour. Zip lining, rafting. Yep. And obviously I need to count the spas entertainment. <laughs> so in total, we spent $170. Which is really not bad when you think about just how much stuff we did this week. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Okay, next up we have dining out. And even though we ate out at least once every single day, for sure, we spent only $100. Yeah, gotta love those $3 almuerzos. Yeah, Although, definitely. since our place was basically out of town, we did take cabs in most of the time. But fortunately, it just costs $1.50 for a cab to really go anywhere in town at all. So the total for transportation was actually just $20. Nice. Now, we also did a small round of cooking at home. Small amount. <laughs> so that cost us just $46 for groceries. And groceries were very affordable here. Yeah. Now, finally, a week in this very spacious Airbnb. We have three bedrooms, three <laughs> bathrooms. Also, you have to count the one in the laundry room as well. So oh. that's kind of like three and a half. So that cost us just 318 US. So wow. that's basically just 
$45 a night, for which I think I can probably manage a little decorating. I like the fish. <laughs> so the total for a week of fun, fun, fun in Banyos cost us just $655. Well, that's great value. <laughs> yeah, it really is. We're definitely finding that you can get a lot of adventure here in Ecuador, and it comes in at a very reasonable price. For sure. Speaking of adventure, I think I'm still in recovery from that big trek we did in the Highlands. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm definitely in recovery. It was three days long. It was mostly uphill, all kinds of weather, yep. so much mud. I've never seen so much mud on a trail before. But you know, the reward at the end was absolutely spectacular. Yep. So if you'd like to come along and see what it was like, you can watch the next video right over here.